Hey, how you doing, Map Peer? Map Investments. I'm gonna do a video on uh, a trade that I did uh, on Jamia Tejas, one of Tejas, one of the subscribers' uh, favorite stocks. So I did a bullish trade in Jamia. What I did was uh, put credit spread, which is a bullish strategy. Uh, I sold the put credit spread. Um, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you the the, the breakdown of the of the of the trade. So we're gonna go out. I'm I'm not doing anything in February anymore. I'm going into March. I got enough stuff in February. March is a little bit further than what I want because it's 56 days. It's 10 days more than what I want. I usually like to be at the 45 day mark, which is uh, the sweet spot where the decay starts to kick in. Um, anyways, what I had. What I did in in this trade, I saw Jamia pop during the day, and I was like, "All right, I'm all I'm all in this because it kind of broke out to new highs." Um, what I did was I sold the forty five, and I bought. I did it wide. I bought the thirty five for protection and margin relief. So this trade. Um, takes up a thousand dollars of buying power uh and it's a 71 okay so you see jamia under 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 the uh time on my on my phone under the jamia symbol says vertical right underneath it says pop this trade has a 71 percent probability of success at entry and i collected four dollars I think it was 405. I collected four dollars and five cents. So I'm already up uh, 80 80 dollars plus on the trade as of today. I'll manage this at 50 percent. So uh, I'll, I'll buy this spread back for for two dollars and make 200 dollars, which is 50 percent return on my money. And I'm only tying up a thousand. So on that thousand, I made 200 uh, on a four on a four dollar spread. Um, so this is how the trade looks like. It's a bullish trade. You see, if Jamia goes down to 41 or under, you see how it goes red here? I lose money. My max loss on this trade is 675. My max profit is, if it, Jamia continues to stay up and keeps going up, my max profit is, well, not in this case, because I collected, let's change this to, to, to what? what I collected let me let me let me change it here why is it doing this can't you enter it manually I guess you can't I guess you have to do it like this oh there you go oh crap all right, I'm gonna have to go. I'm just moving it up so you can see what my trade is, what I had collected, or what I had collected, all the way to 405. So this is my trade. So I'm 72 percent probability of profit. My max profit is 405. My max loss is 595, and that's my trade. So as long as Jamia stays over 41. 41 is my break even. How do you calculate your break even? Very simple. The credit that you collected from setting the spread, remember this is a $10 spread, a $1,000 spread, $10 spread, 45 minus 35, 45 minus 35 is $10. It's a $10 spread, and you wanna try and collect a third of the spread. So in this case, a third would be three dollars and 33 cents i collected four dollars and plus so i did very well on the trade i saw it i reacted right away i know how jamia has been trading when i saw it to break out on some volume i was like let me sell a bullish strategy in here so that's what i did um so what how do you calculate your break even the credit you collect minus your short strike what is your short strike here? It's the 45. The 45 is the one that I sold. 
that's considered a short put. The one that I bought is the 35. I'm long the 35 for protection and for margin relief. This is a defined strategy. I know how much I can make and I know how much I can lose. Now, I'm not gonna wait till this expires in 56 days. I'm gonna manage this at 21 days or before that. And I think I should be able to get that way before that. And my goal is to buy this spread back for 50% return on my money. So that is the trade that I did in Jamia today. It is a bullish strategy, it's called a put credit spread. Not that I bought it, I sold it. So, and this is how the illustration looks. So I hope that helps. And um, I usually do this like on a stock that's breaking out or a stock that I know is very, very strong and it gets beat up and there's decent volatility, premiums, where it allows me to get out in time and far and, and, and collect a good credit. And this is the way to own these high price stocks. Apple, Google, Facebook. Ain't nobody gonna be buying Facebook at $275 or 100 shares. You need $27,000, $28,000. You need to wanna do the math on, uh, on Amazon. Your, 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 your brain will blow, blow up. Options, learn them. They enable you to, to, to invest in these big stocks and, and, and with defined risk and you have an edge if you, if you look at the volatility and the premiums and make sure you do them when they're, when they're high, that's your edge. And you can always defend your trade. You watch my videos, you'll learn. And I always recommend you go to Tasty Trade. They have archives there on, on all these option strategies, how you can learn them. Uh, that's what I did. And uh, you can make a living off of it. And uh, you can grow your portfolio uh, by great leaps and bounds. Anyways, please like the video, share it, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just throw them there in the, in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next video.